Hello and thanks for joining me on another outing. Today I want to show you around Clinagia in Snowdonia. As most of you know, if you follow my channel at all, I'm all about finding secluded spots. It's the middle of July and the schools have just broken out. Just behind me, that ridge there separates this valley from the Ogwen Valley. And I dread to think how busy the Ogwen Valley is right now. And yet the scenery here is equally as stunning. You drive up from a little village called Dolgarog down in the Conwy Valley. It's only about three or four miles and there's a trailhead car park about three quarters of a mile from where I am so it's not far to walk at all. I've set up my camp here by the lake and I plan to fish for a couple of hours because at the moment the light is terrible so there won't be any photography for a while. And this is a lovely lake although it does have a tragic history behind it and I'll tell you more about that a little later. There's this low cloud which uh, the weather forecast had predicted would be gone three or four hours ago which is why I timed my trip now and we're still stuck with it but that's the mountains for you, they're, they're unpredictable. I'm not really into black and white photography and a lot of my photography friends would say oh that's perfect you've got the low cloud hanging down over the mountain tops get some, get some contrast in there and some dramatic black and white but I'm still surrounded by colour. There's, there's the different shades of green on the cliffs opposite that are running down to the lake and also because it's been so dry a lot of the vegetation has already started to burn off so there's some really beautiful oranges and browns mixed in with it. Now it would be lovely if they were properly illuminated so I'm going to wait it out and see what happens and of course in the morning I'm hoping the sun's going to come up in that direction over there throw some light over the lake onto those cliffs you never know we might get something interesting it doesn't really matter though does it you get out and about you pitch your tent you organize a, a cup of tea it doesn't get much better than this so I'm off to catch some fish now and we'll be back later for a bit of photography so after saying all that about the light I was just about to start fishing and I noticed that there is some light coming through now onto that ridge and there's still some cloud hanging around so I thought rather than wait till golden hour when the cloud might not be around I'll see what I can do here and what I've done is I've got this leading line of the the shoreline of the lake leading me straight down the valley so that's quite nice the other thing is the lake is really low and what that means is there's all sorts of new bright green vegetation sprouting up between these rocks that wouldn't normally be there so I, I, that caught my eye as well and I thought that would make quite an interesting foreground. I'm shooting at about 30 millimeters uh, f11 and I focus stacked it with these little pebbles right in the foreground and then just a second one uh, on the ridge over there also spot metering so I've got a nice uh, dark version of the sky that I can blend with a brighter version of the foreground. I don't use graduated filters in the field and I'd, I would usually sort that out in Lightroom but because there's such a, a high dynamic range in this shot the valley down here is, is very much in deep shade so these rocks and the rocks are quite black anyway because normally they'd be underwater so um, I needed to think about the technicalities of this shot it isn't the best composition in the world and you could argue why go to all the trouble then but I didn't want to come away with nothing so we'll see what happens with that
and then it all went horribly wrong I'm afraid. Uh, all the rest of my footage from this vlog had no audio at all because it seems that my microphone decided to crap out on me and I didn't know that till I got home. So uh, what I was saying at this point is that uh, I doubt if there'll be much photography this evening because it's really grey and uh, as it turned out uh, it did break up a bit later on and I rushed out and got a few shots. Well, the following morning, the light really wasn't any better. The weatherman had completely lied. I did get this one shot where the sun very briefly broke through at about uh, six o'clock in the morning. Uh, and here's me explaining my settings and what I was thinking and all that sort of thing. So actually, I'll just spare you having to listen to all that rubbish. And here's the image. Now set back about 200 metres from the current lake shore is this old dam. It was completed in 1911 by the local aluminium corporation to supply the Dolgarog power station down in the Conwy Valley uh, for its aluminium works. It stretches about three quarters of a mile and is about 35 foot high. But there's this section missing. What happened was, after heavy rain in November 1925, a terrible tragedy unfolded one evening. This section of the dam collapsed and the water rushed down the valley into a smaller reservoir called Lin Koibti. That reservoir was also full of course and the vast quantity of water pouring in from this lake overtopped it immediately, undercut its foundations and it collapsed as well. What follows must have been absolutely horrific. 350 billion litres of water crashed down the valley onto the unsuspecting village of Dolgarog and pretty much wiped it out. 17 people died that night, including children. But it was a miracle that many of the villagers were watching a film show in the local theatre on higher ground, so they were spared. An investigation found that the workmanship on this dam was shocking. Some parts of the concrete wasn't even mixed properly and the foundations were completely inadequate. The first contractor had actually walked off the job because the aluminium corporation was trying to cut costs all over the place. I haven't been able to find any record of prosecutions. The inquest verdict was accidental deaths. I'll let you decide. So I took a couple more images, uh, which I'll show you shortly before I left. And this was me thanking you very much for watching. Uh, and I really appreciate your encouragement and support. And if you haven't done it yet, why not subscribe now and join me next time. Cheers.